Welcome, KSL Gang. Welcome KSL Gang. Today we're going to be reviewing some of the new releases from Victoria's Secret. We have the new Bombshell Glamour. We have the Candied Collection and the Gilded Gala Collection. I know there are some more on the pink side and some couple other ones. They be coming out with collections back to back. But okay, let's jump in. We're going to start off with Bombshell Glamour. The packaging on the perfume is gorgeous. So this is described as a floral woody. It has no a peach peony amber it also has plum prosecco this one opens up with the most fruity sparkling peach note when i first sprayed it i'm like oh this is really bright and sweet and fruity it's mixed in with that plum prosecco it's like a peach plum sparkling drink the dry down is a really nice ambery floral when it's all the way dried down i do get some powderness to it not a lot because that peach and plum is still there the sparkling feel to it was not there like it was on the opening it definitely starts off uppity and bright dry down to this warm slight powdery floral woody fragrance it still has a nice fruity sweet touch you know like bath and body works bright christmas morning and the new golden berry mistletoe or any other fragrance you have tried that has that like that sparkling drink fruit drink type of scent bombshell glamour is like that but it's way more perfumey like a grown up version of those this is very festive when you smell it it just smells like a party because of that sparkling drink note that i get but i believe this could have been released right at the top of the year in january i get that new year vibes from it as well so it is a fruity sweet sparkling scent but dries down to a beautiful amber floral i only did two little sprays and it's been on me for four hours already and the body spray is just as nice you can definitely just use the body spray and get a really nice strong scent from it so this is a good one and next we have the candied collection which i was excited about we know how these flankers can go sometime they can surprise us or they can smell like the previous ones so i'm going to start off with bare vanilla candied that one has notes of strawberry sprinkles and marshmallow flower and i see that was a nice switch up because i'm not too sure when i see a lot of fruity notes in a bare vanilla flanker i mean sometimes they do but most of the time it's just like a more cozy and warm scent to it so when i first sprayed this one i immediately got a familiar fragrance that came to mind at first i'm like no way this can't be it this cannot be the same thing it gave me bath and body works fresh vanilla blossoms i'm like wow but then when it started drying down i started getting strawberry snowflakes I'm like, okay. And then that's when I got more of the original bare vanilla DNA. So, of course, what I did, I'm said, if I'm smelling all of these, let me pair them all. So, I paired all three of them. It gave me bare vanilla candied. But the Bath and Body Works combo is a bit stronger. But the bare vanilla candied holds its own weight. But if you want to know how that one smell, definitely pair those three if you have them all and i never think about pairing fresh vanilla blossoms and strawberry snowflakes together but now i am because of what i smelled with bare vanilla candy so this one was different smells amazing lasting power is really nice it projects well this has been on me for a good amount of time this one was still on me at the four hour mark as well and when i smelled my arm it wasn't just a skin scent to me it was still pretty strong and i did a couple of sprays with this one as well i didn't go in like i usually do so i know when i go in on it it's gonna give me more especially on the clothes so for me i think this one is in my top bare vanilla flankers like in bare vanilla untamed and luxe 
And I actually tried out the lotion first and that one had more of a cozy feel to it. And that one really smelled like fresh vanilla blossoms. So I definitely wouldn't mind having a backup of this one. So overall it smells like a fluffy vanilla strawberry marshmallow. But it's more heavy on the vanilla and marshmallow with hints of sweetness from the strawberry. Next we have Love Spell Candied. Now these notes sounded good. It has peach gumdrop, crystallized mugue, that was interesting. And candied cherry now this one opens up with a bright peach and it's not as sugary sweet as i thought it was gonna be if you can picture peach rings candy and they've been just sitting in the sun all day something like that more of a warm peach the mugay comes in really quickly and that one to start off with it's not a heavy floral that one is just more light so maybe that was added to not make it a overly sweet scent but add like a perfumey flair to it it is really pretty with it but i probably could have done without it i'm not getting too much of a sweet candied cherry i'm gonna say more of a reduced sugar candy i do get the candy vibe but it's not as strong overall when it completely dries down i'm still not getting too much of a candied feel to it i do smell the sweetness here and there i still get the peaches but it's not as strong i definitely get the mugay even though it's not a heavy floral and the candied cherry it's not there so much it's just a light sweetness and very warm y'all know what the interesting thing about this i also feel like i'm getting hints of coconut with this one it's crazy like am i getting whipped coconut milkshake on a dry down i know that might sound just off the wall that's what i'm really getting from it and i know what a good candied or juicy cherry scent smell like you know bath and body works has to fight cracker pop like that juicy sweet cherry it's nothing like that or cherry smoothie from zara it's nothing like that everything is muted and warm but it still has sweetness to it it's blowing my mind how i'm getting whipped coconut milkshake on a dry down so i like this one overall but it definitely could have been better when it comes to a candied version of it and usually with the flankers i can get the dna of the original but with this one i can't get any dna of the original love spell and next we have purse seduction candied this one has notes of plum swirl and sweet musk when I sprayed this one on the opening, I got the original right away. You're going to get it all the way through. It's not too many different notes in here that's going to switch it up. The plum in this one is sugary sweet. It's definitely a candied one. The musk adds a nice clean freshness to it and also perfuming. It's like a sugary sweet deep plum with a hint of clean to it. I know some people don't really like where it's a sugary sweet scent mixed with the air or fresh note. I do wish it was other things in here to kind of get Give a little bit edge to it because this is just the original just with a sweet sugary plum note and then last and power is pretty good on this one too i can still smell it after three and a half hours last from the collection we have velvet petals candied and these notes sounded really good caramel ribbon glazed petals and nutty praline now this one has to be one of my favorites next to bare vanilla candy the opening is strong on the glazed petals it is floral but it's a nice sweet sugary floral and the caramel smells absolutely delicious in this one it brought in a really nice smooth creaminess to it and it's not a heavy heavy caramel nice layer and depth from the floral scent but keep in mind that floral is still sugary sweet it smells so edible but it's also perfumey at the same time i love when they can capture a gourmand fragrance and mix it with floral and sweet scents with the complete dry down that praline it's like a sweet nuttiness but it also smells a little toasty like there's a bite crunch to it and with this one i got a little bit of the original dna but it still switched it up to make it a whole new fragrance just picture a bouquet of pretty florals just drizzle with a sugar glaze with caramel topped with sweet pralines all over mm, it's just y'all so good definitely backup worthy for me now, Next we have the Gilded Gala collection. We're going to start with Vanilla Amber Bourbon. This one has notes of Vanilla Amber, Smooth Bourbon, and Orchid Petals. So the opening to this one, I did not expect it to be that sweet. The opening is very Vanilla and Amber heavy. I'm kind of happy about that, but I know some
sometimes amber can be a lot in the fragrance where it can just take over but it's a nice balance between the two but i still want to say it's heavy on the powder like amber can be it's more so on the warmer and sweet side with that nose the bourbon is definitely a smooth and silkiness it just glides right on through it's almost like velvet it just makes it more of a night out type of scent with the mixture with the floral in there it's giving off a high-end scent i love when i can find body sprays that do that i also feel like a blackberry note could have been in here i'm getting like this fruity note in here and it's coming off like a blackberry and a little bit of jamming i mean it has all the vanilla and the amber and the bourbon but it's still some type of fruitiness to it more so on the background it just makes for a really nice fragrance all together and comparing to bath and body works cozy vanilla bourbon and mixed bar vanilla bourbon out of the three the vanilla amber bourbon is still more fruity and sweet but it still has all the things that those two have like the bourbon the coziness now vanilla bourbon from mix bar that one has way more smokiness to it the vanilla amber bourbon is my absolute favorite if i have to choose one next we have sugar plum fig now the notes in this one was interesting especially all mixed together we have sugared fig cinnamon orange and delicate rose so fig cinnamon orange rose definitely makes this one a nice festive fragrance this one opens up with a warm sweet aroma slight earthiness it also has a calm vibe to it very chilled that's when i start getting a citrus scent it's not overly spicy at all i thought i would get more cinnamon but the cinnamon is slightly there but you do get some spice on me i pick up more of that citrus note and when it said delicate rose they are right because you can always smell a rose heavy fragrance but this one is so done lightly and pretty y'all know how i feel about my rose scents now i love them so i even could have used a little bit more but this one in here if you're worried about a heavy rose note to me i'm not picking up a lot of that it's warm sweet citrus a little spice with a hint of rose it's done beautifully like i said it just smells nice and festive something you'll wear this time of year projection was really nice on this one i was getting it for a good two and a half hours before it slacked down and i could still smell it really good after five hours and next we have santal berry silk and it's a lot going on in here we have frothy sandalwood blackberry espresso and aromatic almond opening on this one is something so milky and creamy about it i get this strong milky note i know how they have scent notes in order the top hard and base and all that but it's something milky in this and that's going to take you all the way through this one like it said frothy sandalwood can be woody and creamy and that's when i start getting that blackberry and i got more so of the blackberry than a coffee scent i do get coffee more like a light flavor of it and the complete dry down the almond is sweet and nutty with a hint of woodiness so all together you do get this fruity espresso very milky and heavy that's the dominant note i get in this because it's not like you're straight on vanilla milky type of scent no it is a frothy milky creamy berry espresso type of scent i know it's a lot but it's definitely interesting to me this one is kind of a unique one and i did try it with wrapped in vanilla body cream i didn't use the fragrance mist i think that would have been a lot but just with the body cream it brought a really nice vanilla take on it since it already had that milky creaminess i was trying to see what would it do if i add that one the complete dry down with it was very edible and this was one of the strongest ones at the group it's like that scent just lingers last in the collection we have ginger apple jewel this one has notes of bright ginger musky apple and tart cranberry i'm gonna start off saying i do like this one better on the clothes than my actual skin i want to paint an image for you how this smells all together before i go in depth Picture you going to someone's house or a beautiful building and the floors are just shiny and clean and you go in with this really fresh smell like a fresh cleaner for wood floors or something. It's like that like you will find it 
in the cleaning aisle with the limited edition holiday fragrances that's what i got with this one now it can come off niche smelling to someone something that everyone's not going to agree with and it's different it is very perfumey it is a strong one it is a fresh fruity as it says the ginger in this one is very bright and sharp not too much of a spicy smell the apple in this is really fresh and crisp and also clean the ginger is clean the cranberry is clean like every note about this one it comes off clean because you know we have apple that can be cinnamon sugary sweet we have cranberry can be sugar and sweet all together it's so much cleanness and all of the notes i think that's why it's coming off like that to me that might not be ideal on what you want a fragrance to smell like on your your skin smells good as a cleaner i would want the house to smell like this if that makes sense would i actually wear this one y'all know me i'm gonna try with different scents and see what i compare with it to tone something down and bring something out of it i don't know how this one's gonna come off for everyone i want to see what people think about this one like i said i can't say it is very strong and long lasting and it projects and it lingers for a while so that's a good thing about it but of course i can come back and love it once i play around with it more pairing it with different things but yeah guys that's going to complete my reviews on the recent victoria's secret fragrances i know there are more i might check those out i don't know yet let me know have you tried any of these out yet and what do you think about them are you going to be trying them out if you haven't not already subscribe and join the ksl game thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Hey KSL gang, if you love cooking and watching cooking videos and super easy recipes, make sure you check out my main channel in Kiki's Kitchen. I'll see you over there.